Marriage, I've learned over time, is about commitment, because at least once a month, I want to commit suicide. But every other day, <laughs> homicide. It is challenging. Things change when you get married, right? Who's married? Clap if you're married. Eh? Yeah? You're married, right? You know. You have to learn how to compromise, am I right? Yes. We learned early on in our relationship that I like to sleep with the window open, and she used to like to sleep with my roommate, and that was a problem. So we had to compromise. You gotta make it fun. I'd say make a marriage work, you make it fun. Every morning I wake up, I lean over, I kiss my wife right on the forehead, and I say, good morning, Susan, I want you to have a wonderful day. And it's fun for me, because her name is Carrie, but it makes me laugh every time. And every Christmas she gets me soap on a rope, which is her way of saying that I stink and I should hang myself in the shower, but it makes her laugh. And every Valentine's Day I get her candy, which is fun for me, because she's a diabetic. You do what you gotta do, that's all I'm saying. On our five-year wedding anniversary, my wife tried to surprise me with a car, but she missed. And <laughs> on our 10-year anniversary, she got me one of those cards with the glitter in it, you know, the anthrax? That was fun. And then <laughs> last year, she gave me a toaster, which was weird, because I was in the bathtub at the time. And then uh, this year, she got me a case of very expensive, high-end French bottled water from someplace called Camp Lejeune. But anyway, uh, Snoring has become a major issue in our relationship. Does he snore? You don't know yet. Well played, young lady. I'm gonna call your parents and tell them that. Good for you. He might, you don't know yet. And that's a big decision till death do us part if you can handle a snorer, right? I snored the day my wife and I met. We, we never, you know, it's never changed. Her reaction has changed dramatically. So when we were dating, she said it was cute when I would snore. But that's when she was trying to lure me in, right? When she was a, a penis flytrap. But then, once we got married, it wasn't cute anymore. On the honeymoon, she started with a nudge. And over time, the nudge begat a shove. And now she throws an elbow that would get her thrown out of a hockey game. Seriously. Two weeks ago, I'm sound asleep and I'm snoring, she pinched my nostrils together. Which is attempted murder, and it's bullshit. <laughs> And intimacy. People think, oh, I'm getting married. I'll have sex whenever I want it. <laughs> that is rich. I will tell you that once they say I do, they don't. And you know you haven't made love in way too long when little things start to arouse you, like sticking your key in the ignition. That shouldn't get you going. Right? The other day I was sharpening a pencil, and I swear to God, I said, take it all, you whore. That's not right. That's wrong. And I know it is. And I'm working on it. Don't judge me. Sometimes you don't even know a fight's coming. It comes completely out of the blue. About a week ago, I was slowly taking off my wife's panties, and she walked in on me. And, uh, wow. That was a doozy, too. Last year, we got personal tattoos, uh, not for public consumption. Hers is on her pelvis, and I'll be honest, I don't care for it. I don't like the color, I don't like the lettering. And who's Frank? Uh, <laughs> And then I had I love you tattooed on my scrotum, which was, by the way, very painful. And she accused me of trying to put words in her mouth, so it failed. But uh, 